A few moments later. Okay, Ditu. So this is my latest project, a fully autonomous robot that starts with just the push of a button. No more opening terminals, typing commands or dealing with complex setups. Just press a button and it's ready to go. As soon as the robot boots up, the GUI interface appears on screen, making it ready to take commands immediately. I have designed an intuitive UI with Avis embedded directly into it. Let me walk you through the UI in detail. First I'll disable the startup animation to show you exactly how the interface looks from the boot up. To do this I need to modify the code. Let me close this app. Stop the nodes launched by bootup service with this command. Now let's go to the GUI package. In this main window.cpp file, we'll find open GIF window function. Here I'll tweak it so that it does nothing when called. Rebuild the project. Now when we restart the application, the animation will no longer appear. With this update made, let's relaunch all nodes including the GUI using this command. Here we go, the UI is loaded successfully and as expected there is no animation window. The nodes are starting in sequence, first hardware interface node, then map server, localization node and finally navigation stack. Now let's explore the UI. This is RVs tab where I've provided full control over RVs display. Let me demonstrate it on screen. We can pan RVs window using these buttons. Zoom in and out. Touch screen only allows to change the camera angle.
We can also enable or disable displays on RVs window. Now let's switch to auto mode tab. Here we can select a goal location and press the send goal button. The robot will autonomously navigate to the selected destination. We can also monitor the goal status here. And there we go, goal is reached. Back to workspace. The entire user interface is developed in Qt Designer. This is how it looks in Qt Designer. Here are the manual controls, robot pose information, to change velocities of the robot, battery, and robot status. Here is the tab widget. It has multiple tabs for different functionalities. This is the layout of RVs. Auto mode tab is to set and send goal locations and see the status of the goal. Status tab. Here we can see if the nodes are running or they have any problem, but these are not functional for now. This is to fine tune velocity gains of motor controller for different loads. This button is used to close the app. RVs tab for RVs controls. Mapping tab is for mapping the new area. This tab is for updating the new map and planning waypoints. Mapping and planning features are still under development. This is the design file, which is converted into .h file for integration into main window code. This structure ensures a clean separation between design and functionality. The design file is included here. and we can access each widget or element with this pointer. One of the biggest challenges I faced in creating this app is embedding RVs into the GUI. After spending hours browsing in the internet, I found few sources which helped me to understand the way to integrate RVs, but they were in bits and pieces. After piecing information together from multiple sources, I made this first GUI application where I succeeded in embedding RVs into my custom GUI. I will share this code with you so that you need not spend time in troubleshooting. This package has core files to embed RVs into GUI application using Qt. 
Now let me show you the internal hardware. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 model. This is the O-Drive controller. This is the support leg for LiDAR. Battery is over there. And this is the buck converter which converts 24 volts to 5 volts to power the Pi. And the switches and the charging port connections are behind this battery. Okay, that's all for this video. I have a plan to test this robot in restaurants and coffee shops for real world applications. If you own a restaurant or a coffee shop and are interested in testing this robot, please let me know. I'd love to collaborate. You can write to me on my Gmail ID. I'll provide it in the description. Please let me know your thoughts about this robot in the comment section. Whether you liked or disliked or something could be done better. I'll be happy to hear from you and work on it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Hope you liked this video. Then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on robotics and ROS. For more content, visit my website www.rosroboticslearning.com. See you in the next video.